run fine. I'm going to have the to re-add the bot to the server. So the test bot here, I'm going to kick him because I modify the code where the roles get added after the the bot joins. So if you already did part one, just kick your bot out. It doesn't affect anything. Um open here. Uh, open your database thing here. I'm going to remove the useless links. Okay, so here this I will delete because I already did the code before just to make sure it works obviously. Alright, so we only have the guild with this, which also we can actually delete this since we're going to get it back as soon as we invite the bot. So now let's invite the bot. Alright, so let's invite this bot. Make sure your bot's online, obviously. You really need to make sure that is, and authorize it. Uh, yes, I am not a robot. Okay, bot's added. Open Discord. Make sure this shows up correctly on the... Discord is kind of small for you guys, as I can see from the thing, but I think it's big enough. Well, actually, let's just... So, appearance. Let's break the fonts. Just put the font a little bigger. Okay, so let's see. Can I valid role? No, I can't. Message is not defined. Here. Ah, uh, my bad. So everywhere, so here, if you double click on message, you'll see it shows up in two spots. My variable for message is msg. So change them both. It's on the command run, both of them. I didn't pay attention when I wrote it. Okay, so let's test it again. Oh, first, first of all, let's make sure that we did get our, our, our wanted data into our database. So let's see here. We have our guild with our information and then we have our roles with an empty array perfect all right so now let's open discord again and let's check valid role command valid do i send the message all right so as you can see here i wrote valid role which should have gave me the error message saying that you need the the prefix right but when I come back here, just to look, I just wrote args triple equals zero, which we forgot to write length. So this is in your valid role function, a uh, valid role file, sorry, valid role.js, uh, around line 12, line 12 for the triple equals zero. I forgot to write length, so make sure you add that. Okay. And now that you have that added, now we can check. So a valid role. Alright, so admin command prefix, valid role, role name. So this is just if you don't write it. The reason why I don't have the specific prefix here, I would I would have had to wrote uh, a little bit more code to import the database stuff, which I didn't find was useful for this, this uh, tutorial. So I just put the prefix in between the brackets, so if someone changes it, at least they know. So now let's try, if I valid role, and I valid role, um, owner role so now it says valid entry it has no access to the bot command okay if I valid role and I add role not existing what happens here do we have a warning saying okay yeah so after the two seconds it checks and this role does not exist now if I open my database again you can see that I do have one role added to my roles array, which is the valid one I had. Okay, so now if if I write test, obviously, I will get access to this. Subscribe to my YouTube, please. But if I take an, a test user now, hello, you see my test user running a little thing? So let's see, can you write the test command? Looks like you can't use that, okay. But if I go to test user, if I click on him, and I give him the admin role, so the role that I already allowed to use the bot. 
If he writes test now, looks like you can't use that command. Nice. Oh, no, shit, my bad. I gave the bot the rule. <laughs> I was like, why that did not work? It should work. All right, let's give the user the rule. And there we go. We have subscribed to my YouTube. So now the the test user, which only had uh, access to the command as soon as he got the role. You can do that with any roles. Any roles will be automatically added to it. And it, it updates instantly. So you don't have to worry about uh, turning your bot on and off. And let's say for an instance that, so I'm going to remove his role. You remove someone's role, it will understand that now they don't have access to it. Okay? So it only has access while the bot, um, while the, the user has the role that's recommended in the user role. If you would like to add commands where the, the, anyone could write them so you would have this part here where you here you check make sure it's valid you could make an instead of a else here you could make a if else and you write the command name and if the command is equal to that name then you just run it so like if kind of like let's say I would else I, would, I could which is to here it says I can't write else because I already have an else here so this would be a else if or I can make here just a if or something. I don't know. Anyways, with else, I could check just like if the command is equal to a prefix plus help. Okay, if the command is equal to this, then you could just write this line here over there. And it will allow anyone to write it. So you can do that for a few commands if you want to. And now the, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to uh oops is how to delete the commands as soon as they're written. So it looks more proper that you don't have like a just a bunch of command listed. So try to find where your if statement here. So this this one right here. Click next to the curly bracket, scroll down. And you should see that it closes here. So that means we want to delete inside of that. Because we don't want to delete every message we receive, right? We only want to delete the ones which are uh, a command. So here we're going to check if the message.author is not a bot. So the exclamation point is a negation. So if it's not a bot and the message is indeed deletable, delete, deletable. Then we're going to delete it. So message.delete. Else if, if the message author is indeed a bot, so if you have auto commands going down with your bot, we have to make sure that the message um, content is indeed uh, start, uh, is, does indeed start with the prefix. So we're going to substring, and we're going to substring the prefix dot length oops uh, length and sorry I forgot here so we start from zero to the prefix dot length and if we get that and that is equal to our prefix then that means it's a command written by the bot and we can also delete this one okay save that let's run it open the bot so here, if I write test, well, it actually, one sec, I'm going to write something random, blah, 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 because if I would have wrote it, it would have deleted, it would have matched it with these, this one. So test should delete it. And then you should just see subscribe to my YouTube channel. So the, the, the command got instantly deleted as soon as it was written. All right. Well, thanks for following my tutorial on uh, user validation with the, uh, Firebase and Discord.js. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, if you have a comment, leave it in the comment section. And if you would like to join the support server to get some help, 
Well, the link's gonna be in the description of the video. Thank you. Have a great day.